This video is sponsored by Microsoft. Sometimes we need to find more than one string of characters or words, but we know exactly what those characters or words are. We can separate these items using the pipe character or the straight line character. It's above the backslash key. For instance, in this example, I might want to find all the instances of grilling, boiling, baking, roasting, frying. I want to find all these cooking terms and I want to highlight them in some way. So I can type them all out and put this pipe character in between them so it finds all the occurrences of that. So let's select this frame, search by story, and I'll say find next, find next, find next, and it finds all those words. You notice, however, it didn't find the word baking at the beginning of the sentence or the word frying or boiling. And that's because the way I wrote this is all in lower case. So we'll come back to that in just a moment. Here's another example. Let's say we want to look at any time any of these Acme products are shown and do something to them. We've got rocket skis, dynamite, and anvils. Notice how this has two words. It's going to take everything on either side of these pipe characters. Select this frame, just look at the story and say find next, find next, and find next. Now what if you wanted to find the word Acme? Let's put Acme at the beginning here. And we'll do the same thing. We'll search on this frame by the story and say find next, find next, and find next. You notice it only found Acme when it's next to rocket skis because again, it's taking everything on either side of that pipe character. If we wanted it to find Acme anvils, Acme dynamite, and Acme rocket skis, we need to use some sub-expressions. In this case, we would take the word Acme and let it stay as is, and we're going to offset this entire group of either-or expressions. So let's search again on this frame. Say find next, find next, and find next. Jumping back to our example with cooking expressions, we want to make sure that we get all the instances of these words, even if they start with a capital letter. Now I could put boiling with a capital B and boiling with a lowercase b and have those be two separate items. But the only thing that's different is the uppercase or the lowercase b. So I can actually offset that into a sub-expression. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do it for boiling and baking. And you would do it for all the words, especially if you think they might appear at the beginning of a sentence. So I'm going to put these in parentheses. I'm going to put b. I'm going to use the pipe character to say it also might be an uppercase B and then enclose that. So now whether it starts with a lowercase B or an uppercase B, the word boiling should be found. Let's do the same thing for baking. And you would do that for all the words. So let's search that story. Find next, find next, find next, find next. Now it finds all instances, whether it's at the beginning of a sentence or not. One thing to keep in mind with these either or expressions is how it's going to grab the expression you're looking for. If I'm looking for grill or grilling, I don't want to put it in this order, grill and grilling, because when I do that and I say find next, it will find the grill in the word grilling and it will continue on. It's never going to find that word grilling. So when you're working with something like this, you want to make sure that you use the longer or more inclusive word first. So I put grilling and then grill, and now it will find both expressions of that word. You'd have the same thing with this cook, cooks, and cooking. You would want to put it cooking, cooks, and then cook. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.